name, honey? My name is Marshall Brown. Marshall Brown. Mer. 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 Shell. Oh. Marsha, where are you calling yeah. from, honey? I'm calling from um, Austell, Georgia, Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? <laughs> I am uh, 53. 53. Okay. What you do yeah. for a living? Um, I'm a cosmetology um, educator and instructor. Cosmetology I mean, educator. Yes, and, and you always snatch tight. I love your look. You look beautiful. You speak well of yourself. I love it. Thank you. I received that. Thank you, sweetheart. You um, Cosmetology, look, I can't pronounce the word. Cosmetology, educator, and instructor, you said, okay? Yes, I got. I do a lot of stuff, but we're not here to, you know, put yourself, all your stuff out there. But they can Google me, and then they can see what I do. So then, you know, I speak for itself. How about that? How about that? Do you have any kids? So before she go any further, she keep talking with her hands like she's 12 years old. And she's sitting back. Here we go. So she says she's 53. I know we said 55, but there, here we are. She get an exemption. She put the application in. 53, we're going to let you in. We're going to see if you can be a gatekeeper. You could be a future gatekeeper for a long time. You got many years. So There you go. She, uh, I got nothing really negative to say at all. She seems nice. And she even gave Kendra some, you know, big ups, you know, which is not very typical of your gatekeepers as we've seen with the last monstrosity of a gatekeeper they don't give too many compliments they don't like to big up the generations after them it's simply trying to crush y'all so let's see where she's going she this this looks good so far you know so far like you said in the talking with the hands but what would you expect you know heck so here we are. Before we go, make sure y'all hit the cash out before we move forward. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not. And shout out to Big E for the cash out, man. Salute. We Big E. You, man. Make sure y'all hit the cash out. It's pinned to the top of the chat. Support the show. Buy a couple guys a couple cup uh, cups of coffee for the week. Get us going. That's you know, all. That's all. Here. We we cheap thrills. A couple of dollars here and there. You know, like I said, we from the backwoods country. Y'all wouldn't believe just a couple of dollars, you know. <laughs> I do. I have two grown sons. I have oh, one at 28 and I have one at 33. And I have a 10. Well, she just turned 12. 12 year old granddaughter. Okay. Do they have the same dad? They do. Okay. Have you ever been married? I have. When did you get divorced? Um, it was 2006, but we got oh. separated before the end. It's a long story. I wanted to pass out at the altar. I, I, I'm, I'm keeping it 100. Wanted to pass out the, at the altar. I did because I, if I knew the voice of God then, I would have known not to marry him. But however, being that I did, I had to deal with it. I had two wonderful sons. So I take it for what it is. But I knew I wasn't supposed to marry him. I'm still waiting on my husband. I, I, is, is he your children's dad? He is. But you want to have your kids without him, so maybe you were supposed to marry him for your kids. I mean, I ain't mad at that. I, I believe that. And I probably would still have been married to him, but infidelity came in. Um, I got pregnant with my last son with him, and he I sent him to truck driving school. He didn't want to work. I had to work up until the day I had my son, and then I opened my first salon three days after I had him. So, you know, if you can't carry me for six weeks to, you know, get over having a child then brought kick rocks kick rocks okay we got you boo all right this is marshall in atlanta 53 when's your birthday oh whoa, 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 whoa. <coughs> we talk about this she said she's at the altar and she knew not to marry this man because he couldn't she said she found out he couldn't do this she tried to put him through drug, truck driver school gave him two kids married him and got all this bad stuff to say talk so bad about him but gave him the highest honor marriage and gave him gave up gave him children twice twice not once but twice married in two kids but this one the man for you married with two kids but he got to kick rocks you didn't realize, like, I, oh, they talking about the voice of God speaking to him. I don't know what was talking to you, talking about you almost passed out at the altar. Stop. Probably passed out at the altar because y'all be trying to go on those uh, 
those starvation diets trying to fit into your wedding dress, you probably was low on calories or oxygen. Who knows? But stop the cap. Just please stop. No. Just, yeah, that intuition, that women's intuition, I said it before, that's to stop you from getting into these bad places. Not to try to really help you out. I'm supposed to avoid the getting married to nug nug. It's supposed to stop you from marrying that couch Negro. No, sister. There's a lot of cap going on. I ain't going to even hold you. I was. I don't like the green screen. I don't like the secrets. <laughs> I. They got something to prove up here. And it's too many secrets. I don't know what's happening in that background. Could be VT Projects in that background. It's too much deception going on, man. And yeah. no accountability. This dude is such a terrible person. Couldn't help you with the kid, you know, just giving birth, had to go right back to work. Well, ain't ambitious, but you gave him your most precious commodity twice. Y'all got to see how that reflects on you. What, whatever happened to the old method of uh, if you got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Why are we so quick to bash one another? That's part of what's wrong with the community right now is she did not. A lot of the stuff is unprompted. Nobody asks these questions a lot of times. Y'all just feel so eager to get this stuff off of y'all chest and, and, and attempt to humiliate people. You know what this is. That's what it is. And that attempt to humiliate that, you know, saying, oh, he won this. He got to kick rocks. You know, all that bad talk. All it do is it reflects on you. You refuse to take accountability for the choice that you made. I would imagine he proposed to you. He said, will you marry me? And you had a choice to make. And you could say yay or you could say nay. And you said yes. I guess you're responsible for the words that come out of your mouth at that point. And you just, so there you go. You know what? <laughs> Maybe she wasn't meant to marry this guy. So what is it safe to say she was moving in? Scarcity and lack. So Honey Smile says she has a 33-year-old and a 28-year-old, but she didn't get married until 2006. So she was having kids in the 90s, you know, and you know how that goes. <laughs> one, of them, one of them 10, 15-year relationships, and they said they were sitting there eating, a, chomping down on the foe for foe. They said, we might as well go ahead. <laughs> Might as well go ahead, babe. Might as well just go ahead and do the thing. I know how that go. But yeah, shout out to Walter for the cash app, man. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. We're gonna get back into this. We're gonna mine this out because I feel like we ain't heard nothing yet. So I tell you, I tell you what, I'm so sorry for everybody who was optimistic in the beginning of this one. I was too. I thought Kevin was gonna expose us to something better, but uh, I think this this rabbit hole gonna get much darker. I just feel it. Hey, Zodiac sign. Um, I'm a Scorpio, November. Scorpio. Um, she has two grown children, two two grown sons. Was once married. Cosmetology educator and instructor. What kind of man are you looking for now, honey? Well, I'm not looking for one, but I'm waiting on one. Okay, what kind of man are you waiting on? Says a man who finds a wife finds a good thing, not the other way around, right? So I'm waiting. I'm waiting on one that um, is established that when he enters the room, he see me and that's all he see. And Beyonce can be up there and he see me. That's who he see. So that's. Stop. See what I'm saying? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, this can happen. You know, a guy walk into the room and he only sees you. This these happenings happen, you know. Love at first sight, all that cute ish, but there's a time and a place for that. And the only thing I can reassure this this gatekeeper him, this gatekeeper candidate, is that she has long, long, long since forfeited that experience. Yeah, she said some well established brother. So you're talking like some Idris Alba type brother gonna walk in the room, walk past all the young. 25 and 30 year old beautiful yes. women and see this gatekeeper up above and say, you know what? Got, got you, I can't express how much, you know, the magazine Cosmopolitan and that show Sex in the City mess up these women's head. 
in that she like the woman of Sex in the City. She thinks some big six foot four, uh, big dude in New York City is gonna be just smitten for her old dried up self. And he gonna pull up in his limo. I'm telling you, Gab, this because she got some bread and resources. So it's hypergamy. It's some old, it's some old fashioned hypergamy in the room. So it seems she got some. It, she appears to have bread and resources. Appears. I'm not sold on nothing. Appears. Okay. Well, we're gonna mine it out. Shout out to Walt. Or sorry, shout out to Antwerp for the cash app. Appreciate it, brother. Make sure y'all hitting that like button if you haven't. Share the stream. Share it with your friends. We're going to mine this out, man. We're going to see what else she got. Because I'm telling y'all, she's she just getting into it. <laughs> the one I'm waiting on. It's the, it'll be a divine connection. It will be an equally yoke kind of thing. So I'm waiting. He don't know, I don't know who he is when I see him. I talk to him. Now, Kendra, let me say this. I've only been on your your show just like a couple of weeks watching you. And I'll comment when I get your notifications during the day. And I have been hit up several, several times. But they ain't real. What's they wrong with the men that sitting you up? What's wrong they are, with them? They are scams. This is how I know they be scams. You only got 14 people following you. You only posted one time in 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't right. <laughs> So wait, real quick, okay, and, and I, unfortunately that can't happen. So you just got to be wise when people are reaching Absolutely. out to you. Also, those Kendra prizes, congratulations. That's never me, so please don't respond. Just know if I say anything, a blue check is behind my name. So if you don't see a blue check say something to you, then it wasn't me. Uh, but let me ask you this, Marsha. So I want to be clear. I heard you correctly. So you want a guy that if you're in the room with Beyonce, he only sees you. Yeah, I mean, you know, he don't see her because he's going to say she's beautiful or whatever. But however, you know, he know how far to take that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you feel me. You okay. know, I can't, you can't stop a man from looking at other women. Not at all. But however, I met a, a husband and wife. Every time he left the room, even to go to the bathroom, he came back and kissed her. You know, like, baby, I love you. You know what I'm saying? You don't know when it's a uh soulmate or you gonna know when you're equally yoked or a divine connection you see what i'm saying you don't know you will know i've been in love before so i know what love feels like okay. so he'll, he'll know and i'll know us too but i do have some deal breakers i'm waiting for that question well we're, we're there right now what are your deal breakers marshall well you know why yeah. i act a little funny over here so let's get right to it what's your deal breaker? however i'm 5 11. at least come to about here you know what i'm saying come to about here i don't want to be with you and then they say is that your son you know real talk i want i do i do a lot of red carpets black carpets purple carpets be able to be able to go you know what i'm saying be wanting to go you know you ain't got to go all the time but also look like something to go somewhere you know what i'm saying because i know who i am and whose i am and he has to know that too and so we can do some things here we are we always talk about this. All this stuff she's talking about is it's unfortunate. She has forfeited all these life experiences with the man, and I always say this, with the man that she truly desires and going to respect. She want this Shakespearean, you know, deep, poetic love. She want every time this man to come back from the restroom him to give her forehead kisses and things of that nature meanwhile you done been gave yourself to a whole nother man been married and all of the above you got to understand where that kind of passion and love and attraction and and uh soul connection comes from and it typically don't come from your situation where you already had kids and then gave someone the best years of your life and now you want to come up here because as Gavin said before, I think you're right. She done secured the bag because she on all the carpets. She on red carpets, black carpets, purple carpets, beige and yellow and orange carpets. Well, at this point, she on the Latin carpet and, and wishing on a star somewhere. <laughs> she just, she has forfeited so many of these experiences. She won't, she won't weigh too much at this age and at the choices she has made thus far the whole she want too much y'all gotta understand that what 
what do this man y'all gotta always ask yourself the man that y'all want this established man kissing on your forehead get to a bag looking like something you you six foot tall you six foot two six foot three with some heels on holy guacamole and you already said you got a height preference she can say all that crap all she want like oh he got at least come here no you know what it ti is stop sister you on you reaching and ain't nothing to grab you reaching ain't nothing up there keep reaching shout out to don he says men around her age not looking for women her age especially with no hair if you ain't got no hair you're gonna have to be like look like sierra or something y'all must understand see she he ain't smiling. look at this scowl come on man you know what she ain't she ain't a bad looking grandma she ain't you know but yeah that scowl ain't helping yeah, but, but, a, but a 50 year old man with resources he don't want this yeah not in the slightest and that's and that's just the that look good a 50 year old man look good in shape walking red carpets want to come on man he ain't coming with you because if he show up with you his boy's gonna be like why you do that <laughs> don't y'all get it he gonna hang around like-minded people like him and so you think that mr biggs on the red carpet, all his crew and all his boys got women that, that's comparable to you. You see what I'm saying? That they ain't been with for the last 30 years. There you go. Is rules to this. The only way you showing up, you had to help him in that grind. Nug Nug would have had to get his CDLs and been ready to walk all the carpets with you. But you that, that has failed. Your plan to do that has failed. And you have forfeited these experiences. Do you see? what we talking about that's that that's the point it's not the fact that the all police are no there are women you don't have to be the most attractive woman in the world to have a man with resources but you must have been shooting in the gym with that brother you cannot show up at 55 years old demanding a top five percent man that is the most delusional thing in the world you can do <laughs> some of these some of these scoring women love saying, "Oh, you know, y'all, y'all women, y'all get y'all men, y'all get resources, and y'all be wanting something like a Stepford wife." When it's quite the contrary, y'all be wanting a Stepford husband. Y'all want to come out of nowhere, old, bald, and established, and now you want a Stepford man. You want a man that's just gonna show up all prim and proper. Hey, honey, you want to go walk the red carpet? Give you forehead kisses, stay in shape, don't ask for too much. Y'all want the robots? Plug and play. That's called plug yes, play. yes. Okay, all right. Does he gotta look a certain way besides height? No, he really. I mean, he gotta be able to be able to go somewhere. Okay, you know, he looking real bad, like bad feet. You know, what I'm saying like, no, no. Mm -mm. Does he have to no. make a certain amount of money? Um. I would say he have to make more than me as an entrepreneur. I have several streams of income, but this is it. And like, this is the same thing with my ex-husband, Kendra, yeah. that if I fall, you're able to handle, carry me. If you fall, I'm able to carry you. And it's not a problem with doing that. You know, if you see something in me to invest in me, invest in it so that we can all come up. You ain't gonna lose your place in line. And if I see something in you, I'll invest in you. And speak life to you so then we can get there we're gonna eat together okay let's do the kids or cam Tasha. let me see oh you got this virtual background we're not gonna be able to see you you're gonna see me girl okay oh you got it worked out okay me. all right well you got the technology down pat ah. hey <laughs> so marshall you're 53 what's the age range you would date um, I say, I'll say, um, 38 to maybe 60, but this is the one catch Kendra. Okay. If you are over 45, make sure your stuff work. Cause I know brothers have issues and I know they got pills to work on that and everything. I ain't mad at that, but for real talk, the whole outlast the pole brother. Don't let, don't come on. No. Come on, wait to the no, no. Here we go. The whole outlast the pole. Never heard that one. You out your mind. That that shouldn't even be on your mind. 
You've been on the carousel for at least 35, 40 years now, and that's still on the front of your mind. Of course. That comes right along with the Arrested Development. Acting like a horned up teenager. And y'all brothers, y'all got to do better. It's the reason why she talking all wild like this time after 45, you know, <laughs> the whole how last of pole. These gatekeepers, they came up with some of this, the wildest terms. The, the whole last hold in the pole, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. They say some of the most hurtful things. They, they got they got some of the slickest, most the forked tongues is, is crazy. Huh. I can't deal with this woman. Yeah, she ain't. So here we go. We came into this and we had high hopes, but hope is empty. I tell you that. And she falling flat on her face. I tell you that. Yeah, this is a rough one. She, he's, Honey Smile said those facial expressions show you how she acted in her 20s and 30s. So she probably was sassy. Yeah. Man. But she still is. That don't She don't develop that in your 40s and 50s. No. So, yeah, this... You can't teach this this old hound no new tricks. No, this is who she always been. She wild. She sassy. Grandma need to sit her tail down somewhere. Seriously, this is bad. She wants so much. He said, he said it's an OG 304. <laughs> yeah, she is. She done secure her bag in her old age. What did, what did she say? She, she'll she take a guy as young as 30-some years old, thir- mid-30s. And she was 52. What do that tell you? 53. About to be 54. She about to be 54 years old. And she said she'd take a guy in his mid 30s. You said that? Yes. She don't want nobody her age or older. I think she said mid 30s to like 50 something or 40. She wild. She want a younger man. She want a younger man. In, in mid 30s, she'll take a mid 30s. Ready to take so, over the so world. What's the theme right now with the gatekeepers? I'm starting to know it's a lot of delusion, even more delusion than the younger women, because it appears that they asking for the same thing a 25 year old woman asking for. Y'all competing? Y'all going after the same man a 25 year old woman is going after? Make yes. The math, math, make it. If you're this- 55, you're going after the same woman as this tender 25 year old woman going after. You talking about 35, 40? Y'all going after the same men. And that's what I'm saying. So she'll be at the at the crib and her daughter will come over. And let's say they both single and they both will be sitting there competing for the same man. They go in the, in the same room and they will compete for the same man. That's the not going to choose. <laughs> Might choose grandma because she's going to be laying it on heavy. Okay. Heavy, heavy. Well, if you so, ask me, I think I'll choose both. He's gonna be, you know what it is. You see what I'm saying? It's it's not a good situation. It's 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 quite gross. It's all bad. I I would like to know the stats out there of, of mothers and daughters sleeping with the same man. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a thing. Oh, see what I'm saying? Yeah, this gatekeeper here, she she ain't as bad as the first one, but this ain't looking good. She ain't she ain't gonna graduate with high honors. I'll tell you that much. That's what dad gonna show. And I'm a, I'm a Christian, and I'm sure maybe some of my old church members up in here. But however, I'm gonna keep it 100. If it if it don't work, there's gonna be a problem, and it's not, not gonna be like that girl said he was eating it like a mango, baby. That's good too, but sometimes you need to use your um eggplant. Okay, so Marshall, you're 53. Are you running into a lot of men who whose stuff doesn't work? I have ran into some stuff that don't work. And then here's another deal breaker, Kendra. Brother, I ain't got time for the down low. Real talk. Now, you play booty games, don't come this way. I ain't got time for the booty games. Okay? Real men stand up. Alpha men stand up. I ain't got time for them booty games. And I ain't mad at you if you you gay or you down low. I ain't mad at you get in where you fit in. But you're going to kick rocks over here. Your feet, nah. Your feet say Ralph and your face say Susie. No, absolutely not. So apparently, only men she are running to at 55 years old are men who are down low or men who just, you know, things ain't working in the bedroom. And she said that's all she running into and she don't want it. I bet. I believe her. I believe everything she did as far as that. 
I bet those are the guys she running into. Want to know why? You old goat? Because that's what you qualify for. And you've earned the term old goat because you're acting all horny and wild. Talking about, oh, I know some of my old church members on here. Yeah, they on there. And they talking bad about you. Going to talk real bad about you up in church. Liable to have a sermon about you. How about that? Liable to put you in a, in the sermon without saying your name. But everybody going to know what, what the good old Reverend talking about. Yeah, don't try to have, ain't no shame. And she keep making these faces looking like dang on John Witherspoon off of Friday. Like, come on, come on, superiority. Come on, gatekeeper. Bad presentation. Terrible. Marshall! Kendra, they play too many games. They be looking all fine. And I got it. You know where it comes from? Because so many of our men have gone to prison for a long time and they look really, really good. And then they got to come out to the streets and put on that facade. And then they want to play booty games because they did in there. No, it don't work no more, man. They are real men. If you go in as a man, come out as a man. Go get your orange and play with, if you have to while you're in there. But come out real. Don't come. Kendra, I'm serious. They do it. Okay, let me just say this. You are right if you do not want a guy that is bisexual, that is, you know, dating men and dating you. You have, you have your right for that. There's no pushback. I just want to clarify, a gay man is still a real man. So, but I, I know got that. I got that. I got okay, it. Well. But if, you're a gay a real man, man. if you're a gay man, stay that way with him over there. Okay. Don't don't come over here and pushing that on me and thinking, you know, they say Scorpio's a sneaky freaky, but I ain't freaky like that. Oh, okay. I can get with him, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't gotta play booty games. Have you had have you had that scenario too? A guy that you were dating? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm telling you, half of these chicks, they probably don't want to admit it, but they don't try to do the test to see if he like that stuff. And they and they and half of them do. And I ain't with it. I'm nah. If I you you comfortable with me trying to play with that, then there's a problem. And this is our last whatever. And we can be dating for two years and finally just got there. And you like that, bruh. Deuces real fast. Like real fast. Quick. Here we go. You know, she she falling out of the running to be a future gatekeeper. It's unfortunate. You know, we need more gatekeepers. But, you know, like Honey Smile said, what is with these gatekeepers thinking they have the fountain of youth? I have no clue. Because what's the deal? Like I said, she sound, if you put the blinders on, you would not know if this wasn't a 23-year-old woman, a 33-year-old woman. And then here we are. Maybe this is a bigger problem than even we know. That there are obviously a lot of down little brothers. And be on the lookout for some videos we're going to drop next week of some women on the Kendra show that who weren't got kids by brothers and they talking about they was bringing home, you know, lady boys and stuff. So, oh so this is like you said, these are younger women talking about this. And here she's 55. So I don't know what's going on in the dating pool. God bless y'all, sisters. If it's that diluted. Y'all better quit playing. If you can hunker down with anything of a good man, that's why we saying, why y'all get all these standards? Just try to find you a good straight man, apparently. Yeah, because it's looking scary out there. It's look, They prison bays, nug nugs, couch negroes, down low individuals. <laughs> y'all better find y'all Mr. Amazon, Mr. Pipe Fitter, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Happy Wit, you know, just a, a beer at the end of a work day and kick his feet up and watch some ESPN. Y'all need to go find him. He ain't the most exciting. Whoever. I'm going to call him Mr. 40 hours a week. I'm there you go. I love it. Perfect. Y'all need to honor, obey, cherish, and love Mr. 40 hours a week because he the realest thing smoking. Just how men are real as far as the options out here. Y'all need to get real as far as y'all options. Y'all keep saying how these Negroes ain't worth a dang. Y'all better take heat and go ahead and find that brother. Y'all know all of the little, all the little rappers and entertainers and ball players y'all like. Y'all know how they roll. But Mr. 40 Hours a Week, he gonna do he nice, he sweet, he do forehead kisses. You know, you can, you know, <laughs> you get away with a lot of stuff. 
So go ahead and get them. Y'all understand? Y'all miss on a heck of a deal. Yo, but feel fortunate if he takes you up on your offer. But this one here, I wouldn't even I wouldn't tell Mr. 40 hours a week. Go ahead and talk to this one here, not to this gatekeeper. Uh huh. Mr. 40 even, even, even if he at the local 7 Eleven or nothing, huh? What well, ain't gonna do for her? Don't you see? You got to be mid 30s, ready to walk red carpets and, and take on the world. And, and this is what you get in return. Some come on, please. Somebody talk to me. So you got to be looking a certain way. Ready? She said it. She said it. You got to be willing to walk. You got to be able, willing to walk red and purple and black carpets. These are her words. I'm not exaggerating on none of this. You got to be about mid thirties to mid forties. So that's is that's a lot. That's a heavy demand. Oh, oh. So third, I watched it, Mr. 40 hours pension plan for me. Respect. Definitely got to have something in line. A yeah. Plan, something, some property. He better have some type of asset or something, you know. So salute for show, sister. Don't be a fool now. Nah. Right. Like Mr. Did said, they want Mr. 40 hours a week after they hit the wall to come save them. There you go. Yes, yes, and yes. They want to show up with some kids, and they probably done dismissed her 40 hours a week all through high school, then seen them a couple of times, you know, after the fact, and kept dissing them until they got all broke down and wore out and used up. And they're going to go up to Mr. 40 hours and say, well, you know the hole lasts longer than the pole. You better come get some of this great, magnificent uh, Fountain of Youth kitty cat. No. That all nine lives of that cat have been used up. Let that alone. Let it alone. Okay. Um. Okay. Marshall, let's do. We did a Kendra camp. Okay. When was your last relationship? It's been. It's been a while. Um. It's. It's been by choice, especially throughout COVID. It's really been by choice because these people still nasty and they ain't washing their hands. They don't use the hand sanitizer no more. So you got to be careful. So it's been about two years, two years or so, but I, it's by choice. I mean, I get um, I get the calls, but they're not ready. You know what I'm saying? Some of them double-minded. I don't have, you double-minded, you are stable in all your ways, baby. And when you see little, little, um, little tendencies, little girly kind of tendencies, you know what I'm saying? You kind of get the picture of where that's going, you know? So I, I really, Kendra, I don't have time for it. I don't play with people's kids. Okay, and you don't have to answer, but I, I would like you to answer, but you don't have to answer. When was the last time you were I ain't, girl, I ain't. I ain't, you ain't, girl, I ain't. I'm waiting, I'm I'm waiting, to, I, for real, for my socks to be blown off. I'm for real, just really, really waiting, girl. I just, when they play, I'm waiting. I ain't, girl, It's it's been a long time. I feel nervous. I know my cousin's in there talking in the, in the chat. I know they really talking, but I'm just keeping it 100. I have choices. I could, you know what I'm saying? I really could. But no, the last guy I talked to in that way, he would always keep his socks on. And I was wondering why he kept his socks on. And he finally took his socks off. And I kind of got a little foot fetish. So we got to go to the, you know, the spa every now and then. But he took them socks off, girl, and them toenails was like 10 inches longer than my nails. And I was like, hell no, you will not be cutting up my sheets. No. So, you know, and he was good. He was, but them toes, them. She has been sitting here for the last 15 minutes shaming every man she's ever encountered. This woman is bitter, miserable, road hard, put away wet. It's been everything. You too broke. You too short. You, you, you ain't good in bed. Your ears too big. Your toes too big. Your car tires don't got enough tread. <laughs> she sound like Eddie Murphy off Boomerang. Remember the scene where Eddie Murphy was with, uh, I think, Robin Gibbons, and everything was nice, you know, like like she just said, you know, the intimacy was good, but in the movie, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy rolled back the sheets and exposed her, her busted feet. And come on, we all get that. <laughs> y'all cut, come on. Y'all can't accept a brother with busted feet. Seriously, I just, 
I can't never understood that. A man's supposed to be a little rough around the edges, a little ugly. What they say, medium ugly. You know, feet ain't supposed to be necessarily cute. Y'all need to stop that. Where did when did y'all become so much like men and want a man to be pretty? You want this man? There you go. You down there talking about all these brothers you running into that's on the DL, and but you want them to have cute feet and all that. What you come on? I'm just you gotta start connecting dots. And and I would question why all the men she running into either his winky don't work or he want to bet for the other team. Wow. Or he too short. Feet, uh, like I said, his nose always running, right? <laughs> he got a chip too. It's always something. Uh, so, like you said, she was in the running for her gatekeeper status. I want to say she all but failed. We'll give her her last words and we move on from this gatekeeper. It ain't looking good. That that cut the cake because I got a foot fetish and um, he had long toenails that was like curling under and it was like sickening. And I can't look down at that if I wake up in the middle of the night. Ooh, okay, so Marshall, why do you think you're single? Because I want to settle for bad toes. You know, oh. no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> no, I just, I just, I just don't have time to play for people, play with people. I'm waiting on love. I really am. And I I've been married before. I love being married. I just, it was just the person I was married to just didn't have his stuff together. But we would probably be still married to this day. We probably would because I love it. I'm a full package. I can cook. I, I'm an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get it when I need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm gonna give it to him. He, I got him. Okay. I know he's out there, Kendrick. I know he ain't in Georgia. I know he's not in Georgia. So does he and have to fly you in Georgia? Does, I'm gonna be surprised. Does he have to fly you out to wherever he is? He don't have to fly me out to where he is. But if he do fly me out. I'm I'm almost six foot. Don't call me with no damn spirit, okay? Okay, okay. And you said again, you want a man that's kind of your height, correct? Yeah, you don't have to be. I mean, taller than me would be great because I'm from athletic family. Like I got a brother seven foot. My nephew is six eight. You know, I come from height. I love to look up to something. I look up to God every day. But you know, my man, that would be great. You know what okay. I'm saying? All right, we got two questions left. Let's almost continue. So last, well, second to last quote. Oh, could he have kids? Um, he can have children, but this is the, the disclaimer to that. Make sure to check your baby mama because I ain't got time for her, but she can come and sit in my chair and get her hair done and make sure that your kids are ruly because I do beat people kids if I have to, and I'm not. It's over. It's over. Like my man Don, Don Jeter said, because at this point, any man that come along that's going to make that cat purr, it's safe to say she's going to have to pay. She's going to have to come out of pocket. Any man that's going to make that thing per, she got to pay for at this point. Or he ain't, ain't no, come. He just won't show up. Ain't no doubt about it. She won't. She won't miss the Idris Alba six foot four and taller. All that. She is. She is rogue. She only looking out for herself. She has a severe arrested development. She talked like a 16-year-old little girl talking about she got a foot fetish. She done came I feel like she done came up on the kitchen show just to look for a guy. I'm like, hey, just so you know I got a foot fetish. She l literally will not stop talking about this man's foots. She did. <laughs> like, seriously. She got the fetish for the feet, huh? She, she, she stuck on it. She let it be known. So I put her on that. She let she letting it be known, you know, where her freakiness lies. She like she like a man with a good foot. And holy so the, it's a it's it's alarming, it's a delusional. Younger ladies, if y'all watching, this is why it's so important to get a man in your younger years. You don't want to end up like this. Not to say it's impossible to get a man once you get a little older, but you run the risk of ending up a gatekeeper like these women and a self-proclaimed gatekeeper at that. There, there you go, because the verdict is in. This one here, she is not as bad as the first one, but she shall not be keeping any gates. Why? Because her antics and tactics, protocol, procedures, and policies are not good for the group. So she shall not be a gatekeeper. She ain't as detrimental as the first one, 
but she is detrimental nonetheless. But she could be funny at the cookouts. That's the thing. The first one, she ain't funny at the cookout. She just a bird. She keep telling you to go get her a plate, and she evil, and she gonna get drunk, and probably you know use the bathroom on herself, all that. But her, she could be funny at the cookout. You know, you have a good time, good joke, play cards. You know, all that. Probably go play some one on one. She about six foot, so. All that gatekeepers, but no gatekeeper for her. We have yet to meet a qualified gatekeeper.